Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This is a new series for 2021 all on cucumber care. I have videos on how you plant cucumbers. I will link one to the video description, but this is all about cucumber care. And really after about three weeks of growth, your cucumber plants are ready to start being managed to manage pests and disease. So we're gonna get in there, remove these leaves that are damaged. No big deal, don't worry about that. But I'm gonna show you how to use peppermint oil and rosemary oil spray to manage spider mites and other small insects and also to mask the scent of the plant. And what do I mean by that? Once we cut off these damaged leaves, they're going to let out an odor or a pheromone. That scent kind of floats through the air. Any bad insects smell it and it kind of is a homing beacon for them to find your cucumber plant. If you mask this with peppermint oil, and rosemary oil, it makes it a lot harder for the predatory insects or the problematic insects to find your plant. Now, this isn't 100% foolproof, but the more that you can reduce pests from getting to your plant, the greater harvest you'll get. And that's what this series is about, is how do you just manage pests and disease so that you end up with a greater harvest? That is the sound of cicadas you hear in the background. I'm in Maryland. They're gonna be gone finally in about, a, I don't know, about two weeks. So when you're setting up your oil sprays. I sell two ounces of rosemary oil, peppermint oil at my seed shop. Two ounces go a long way. If you want to buy them from me, I appreciate it. But when you're buying the oils, you want to make sure you buy essential oil. You want it to be pure oil. You don't want it to be an extract, okay? And you also want to make sure that you don't use peppermint oil soap. That smells great, but it's not strong enough. You want the essential oils. So I like to use a one gallon sprayer. I like to mark a half a gallon and one gallon on here. They have lines, but they're hard to see. And I mark the container as oil because the oils can actually sit in here for a week or two and they're gonna be fine. So once you make them, you can use them over and over again. I use a basic, simple soap. This is a Castile type soap. It's pure, not a lot of detergents. So let's start with making the sprays. One gallon of water, one tablespoon of the Castile type soaps. If you're using a detergent, you want to use one or two teaspoons. You don't want to overdo it, but these are the pure safe soaps. And then I put in one to two teaspoons of peppermint oil or rosemary oil or a combination of both. The peppermint oil I found is best really for deterring and repelling and even killing off spider mites. So I like using that. And if you ever get the peppermint vapors in your eyes, it burns. Imagine what it does to a tiny insect like a spider mite. And I've used this for years. It's really successful against spider mites. I find the rosemary oil does the same thing, but the peppermint oil is better. However, rosemary oil seems to be better at kind of masking the scents of the plants from other insects that, that fly by. What I found over time, I like to use both. So it's going to be one tablespoon of the Castile soap in there, one teaspoon of peppermint oil, one teaspoon of rosemary oil mixed together in one gallon of water. Now, if I had an outbreak of spider mites, I would just go with the peppermint oil. But because I'm just starting to care for my cucumber plants, the problems aren't there. This will work, so I'm going to cover masking and potential spider mites. One tip I have is to make sure you put the water in first because if you put the soap in and then the water gets all bubbly and it's a problem. So put in the water, tablespoon of the soap next, mix it through, and then drop in one to two teaspoons of your oils and whatever combination you want. All right, let me mix this up. We'll get to caring for the cucumber plant and I'll show you how, to, how I spray it and how often to do it. These plants have been growing for several weeks. That's about when you start the preventative spraying after you get several weeks of growth. Just word of caution, any time that you try a new spray, even though it works you know, for me or it works for other gardeners, you wanna test spray that spray by spraying a couple of leaves, waiting for 48 hours, see if there's any damage. Sometimes the formulas just work differently in different zones because of um, altitude, humidity, sunlight, heat, whatever it is, just test spray. 48 hours, if it doesn't damage your leaves, you're good to go. So these are the first leaves. You know, that looks pretty bad. These leaves got beat up with cold weather and stuff like that. You would be more concerned if you start seeing this pattern on other leaves. It could be a fungal issue. It could be the spider mites feeding from the underside of the leaf. You don't have to worry every time you see it. But now it's time to prune. And what I do is I usually cut 
the top of the leaf off the stem and I leave the stem. And I would just go in, find all the problematic leaves and remove them. And you can see right in here that pattern starting. Sometimes that's from a fungus, a disease. Sometimes it's from the insects feeding under there. And that's where the spider mites hang out. That is the striped cucumber beetle. That could also be feeding on the underside of the leaves causing those marks. Now the peppermint oil, rosemary oil, will help deter them but it won't kill them off. In the next video I'll be talking about putting insect dust down on the plant and how to do that. And that will take care of the cucumber beetle. So I will go through and trim out a couple more of the cucumber leaves and then I'm going to send them up this trellis. If you want to subscribe to this series I'll be talking about antifungal sprays, talking about trellising, fertilizing and all that. So we're getting this plant set up to spray. The two plants look pretty healthy and if you get in close right above my thumb, I'll try and magnify it, it's hard to see but there's a little spot there. That could be one of the soft body insects. This is great for spider mites and other tiny insects. Just imagine that oil coating something small like an insect, what it does to it. But it's hard for me to see that. It doesn't matter. If you're spraying to manage the insects or fungal issues, just get a routine going. So the oil spray when I'm doing scent masking, when I'm just trying to cover the scent, about every seven to ten days is fine. You can do it a little more often than you want, every five to seven days, depending on how severe the problem is. If you have an outbreak of spider mites, then maybe you want to do it every three to five days. Just keep that spray going for like three cycles. Just get it under control. Remember, the soft body insects start at the bottom of the plant and work their way up. Another clue that I'm not too worried about this right now is that the cucumber plant over there looks really, really healthy. That's going to get sprayed too. Every time you go to spray, give it a really good shake. You want to disperse the oil that floats through there. If you don't shake it, the oil, even with the soap in there, tends to stay up top and you're just spraying water on there. So give it a good shake. And then your first coating is really just a nice soaking on the tops of the leaves, on the undersides of the leaves, and just spend some time and get under there. It smells wonderful. This is also great for beans, for managing spider mites on the beans. Those are two issues, or those are two plants that I really get the spider mites. It's my beans and my cucumbers. And when you're spraying, you know, it's just a nice coverage like that. A lot of times you can just get under and get all the leaves. You want to spray in the morning or late afternoon. Don't spray in full sun, but you get the idea. So you go in and you just soak the leaves down. Make sure you get the smaller leaves down there get the stems for scent masking. You could also spray the mulch, spray the container, and that really is the best way to do it. And again, I didn't get a perfect under coverage, but when you're getting the spider mites, you really want to get under there and just soak it down. And that is this, here's the cicada by the way. And this really, really is effective against spider mites. It allows me to grow a healthier cucumber plant longer, so I get more of a harvest. And then as the plants just start getting beat up, I'll be replacing them, and I'll show you how to do that in the series. But this is the best way to manage spider mites, mask the scent, control soft-bodied insects, small insects on your cucumber plants. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.